Hi there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Let's now learn how to display a GUI when a part is touched. For an example of this, I'm going to run to my red door here and when I touch the red door, you can see there is a message that says need key to open door. Let's go to Studio and see how we can do this. So here we are inside Roblox Studio and to make this work, you will need three different components. The first component you're going to need is a remote event. The second component is a script inside the part that is being touched so that you can add a touch event to that part. And the third component is a GUI with a script so that when the remote event is fired, it's going to catch that remote event and it's going to display a text label. Let's first look at our first component. So we're going to go to our replicate storage. And what you need to do is you need to add a remote event in here. Display GUI here is a remote event. For our second component, we're going to go to our part, which is the red door. And inside the red door, we're going to have a script. Inside your script, just enter the following lines. On the first line here, we're declaring our remote event, followed by the part, which is the red door. Here we have a touch event on the door, and this is the function that it calls when the part is touched. We're checking for humanoid that is touching the part. This is our debouncing right here. And then we're checking for the player because we need the player to fire a server to client remote event. Here we're passing in the player to the client and then we're gonna wait for five seconds before we turn back on the can touch property of the part. Which brings us to our third component. Our third component is the text label. The text label is inside the starter GUI. We have the screen GUI and here is our text label. Inside the screen GUI, we also have a local script. Here is our local script. The first line, we're declaring the same remote event. Here, we're declaring our screen GUI, and this is how you catch the remote event that is being fired from the server side. You say remote event dot on client event connect to a function. So whenever the part is touched on the server side, it's gonna fire a remote event to the client. The client is catching the remote event here, and it's gonna execute whatever is inside this function. We're just going to play a sound, then we turn on the visible property of our text label. So our text label now, you can see that you cannot see the text label. Because the visible property is turned off, but if it is turned on, you would see something like this. Alright, so basically we're turning on the visible property of the text label, so you can see the label. We're going to wait for 3 seconds, and then we make the label disappear, and we stop the music. And that is all there is to making a part displaying a GUI when a part is touched. Let's play and take a look. I'm going to look for my door. And I'm going to run to the door. When I touch the door, I see the message. To learn more about remote events, you can come to our website, Pricey P Roblox, and scroll down to the How To Series section. Click on View All. Go to Roblox Events, click on View Full Playlist. In this playlist, you will find all the different kinds of events in Roblox, including the Server to Client Remote Event. And here it is, Server to Client Remote Event. Just keep in mind here that the Server to Client Remote Event, which is the one we used in this tutorial, is different than the Server to All Clients Remote Event. So this here is the one that you want to look at, not the Server to All Clients remote event, which will fire the remote event to all clients. In this case, we're only firing the remote event to one single client. On the other hand, if you want to learn more about text labels, you can also come to our channel, go to the how-to series, click on view all, and look for the Roblox user interfaces playlist, click on view full playlist. Here you will find a tutorial on text labels in addition to all other user interfaces related material in Roblox. Everyone, hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in our next video. Take care, everyone. Peace.